Aha, welcome back to the Tuesday show. So the next topic, as you can see to my right over here, is about commentary. Mm -hmm. Commentary. Um, we'll talk about uh, sort of grooming commentators and critiques of commentators. But how, how did this issue come up? You know, a lot of people just, they started talking about commentary and like people complaining about commentators and having them, you know, forcing them off on streams and such and getting them replaced with other commentators. And, and then it just kind of got to the point where it was like, like I know some people like Clockwork was saying like he's like like most commentators I listen to are bad. Clockwork does. Yeah, uh, and and just people were just talking about the fact that commentary is really there's not a lot of great commentators out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people are saying it's a problem right now because it's really hard to become a good commentator because yes. the way to become a good commentator is you just have to care to be a commentator, right? Because one, most people who start commentary are not getting paid for it. Mm. Two, they're gonna get shit on like you can't even humanly imagine yeah. because they're new commentators, yeah. right? Even old commentators get shit uh -huh. on a lot, right? And so, and then three, it's just, there's no incentive for them. You know what I mean? I think four is that there are not many opportunities it's not realistic for somebody mm -hmm. to travel around the country going to different tournaments if there's not something financial in there. Right. Uh, and so, you know, you stick to your local area and you just don't get that much exposure. You don't mm -hmm. get to commentate with many different people. It's like anything else, you know. Uh, in getting better, you have to practice and you need to practice with different people to like get a feel for it yourself even, let alone mm -hmm. just them. Mm -hmm. um, but that's hard to do. If you're just in your area yeah so I, I think there's a lot that makes it difficult to learn how to commentate I mean look you and I were super lucky <laughs> super lucky yeah mm -hmm. we happen to be in an area where commentary was well or streams were, were starting, right exactly and we happened to be asked and we were doing it when there were no expectations mm -hmm. and so the mm -hmm. fact that we sucked <laughs> yes. Fact. Fact. Uh, didn't even matter. Right, right. We, we kept doing it. And, you know, we sort of learned it, right? Yeah. But um, still have some ways to go. But certainly at the start, we would not... If, if we started nowadays, nobody would accept it. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And one of the hardest things, honestly, is that because there are some people who are established now, like... I don't like if people out there want to get rid of us. I they're stuck with us. I mean, <laughs> you know, I don't know. If, I don't know if that could happen at this point. But you know, it's like you said because we're lucky. We've gotten kind of ensconced into this. And yeah. another thing too is that both of us kind of are willing to give up the competitive side of our that's career true. at this point in time. And so that's one huge and, factor. Right. That's a huge factor. So a lot of people who are good commentators haven't been willing to do that yet. Yes. And in fact, a lot of the problems, for example, like at CEO Taku, right? So a lot of the times the best commentators for the anime games are also the people who are in top eight. Mm -hmm. And it, that's kind of a problem, you know? That's kind of an issue. And then a lot of tournaments, they don't even plan for commentators. Yes. Like they don't even schedule them. They literally just say like, here's an event, here's a stream, and then while they're there, they're like, who can here can commentate? Let's bring them on here. You know, they don't even plan for commentators. That's a mistake right away. I feel like that is sort of going away now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At least more. It's still there, but it's starting to go away a little bit, which is good. Right, right. Um, yeah, certainly a lot of players are very good at, pr at, at least providing insight. Oh, the ant. What do you just flick it? Yeah. <laughs> You're like trying to pick it up all daintily. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, I just didn't want to oh, flick it into your keyboard and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> uh, said something. Damn, people on the stream. What, what? 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 Oh, you were saying that it's kind of going away now, right? That that problem is going away. Yeah, but I was moving on. I don't remember what it was about anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so. The question now, though, is how do we groom new commentators? They come on the stream. Look, I can already name at least four or five people, probably right now off the top of my head, that I know tried commentary and quit because of how venomous the response usually is to commentators, hmm. right? And that's going to happen to everyone. And so I had a conversation with SuperFX on, on Twitter, and he was just like, 
The problem is that most commentators are getting paid, so there's no motivation for them to do well, right? If they get paid, it would be better. But I was like, the problem is every commentator starts at free events. Yeah. And so if they get this vitriol, because he was like saying the pay problem is worse than the vitriol problem. And I was like, the oh, as far as dissuading people. Yeah, uh, oh, dissuading okay. people. And I was like, the problem is you can't get past the vitriol problem to get to the point where you can get paid. You know what I mean? Because you have to start free, it feels like, at weekly events and such. You know, there's a lot of good people who have started kind of locally in their area who have made a decent name for themselves. I can think of, like, Bay Rudy from mm -hmm. Canada. He's really, really good. Uh, OAR Raff is really good from the Texas area. You know, a lot of these people kind of are on the up and up. And I know, like, for example, Steve, you know, even though he's in our chat, you know, I, I, I feel like I have to be nice to him because he's here. But, you know, he's, you know, he's doing a decent job, I guess, with Rip and such. Yeah, because you know. he stole my whole shtick. <laughs> <laughs> ultra Sajam, is that what he is? He's Ultra, ultra Steve? Yeah, but he, here's, here's the thing about it at least a couple of those people though is mm -hmm. that it's not that they were just asked to commentate it's that they had YouTube channels and that they mm -hmm. were willing to mm -hmm. Berudi has a bunch of stuff where he's just like narrating himself playing and like talking about right. it and he's like inviting people on to talk about it uh, Steve did the same you know it's so it's not mm -hmm. that the only place to commentate is at an event you can certainly practice elsewhere right and almost nobody does that but I found that <laughs> at least some people who I know who have done it, I think, have turned into good commentators. Not yeah. that everybody will, but I do think that that's a good way to practice right. to sort of get you up to a level where somebody else might want you to commentate mm -hmm. their event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, look, there have been countless, countless times where I'll be watching a Killer Instinct stream or a Guilty Gear stream. And I don't know the games as well as a lot of people out there. But I would love to commentate those games, right? Yeah. And so I will, and even Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat X, I did the same thing. So I'll actually have the stream, and I'll mute it, and I actually just commentate to myself, even in, even in my head. I I'm do, not I even do doing it. it out loud. Yep. But I'm just trying to think what I would say in these situations, yep. you know, and I'm watching it, and, I'm, and there are times where I'll be trying to do it in my head, and I'm like, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm, okay. I don't know this game well enough. Okay, yeah. and, you know, I'm Fair like, I'm, I'm not good enough for this game. But, but, yeah, it is something that I'll probably, even Marvel, even Street Fighter a lot of times when I watch it. Sometimes I'll be watching streams while I'm washing dishes, and I can't even hear the stream anyway because water's running, so I'll just commentate in my head while I'm doing that, you know, in the middle yeah. of chores and stuff like that. So, yes, I'm Chinese, so I don't use the dishwasher, so leave me alone. So, but, um, oh, it's false. I do use the dishwasher as a, as a drying rack like all Asian people do. <laughs> It's like damp in there though, right? No, you leave it open. You don't oh. close it. You just leave it open. That makes sense. Yeah. It's just a drying rack. It's all I don't even have a dishwasher, so your your pants are <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I just feel like a lot of people also jump on there because they want to do commentary because they think they can do commentary yeah. because they think they can be hype and funny. Yes. And they jump on there and it's way harder than they thought. How often have you seen a stream where somebody has to leave, go to the bathroom or something, and then it's just the one person, and they and they just stop talking? Yeah. Uh huh. I feel like that happens a lot. Yeah. It's just it's hard. And to sometimes meet. the person goes to the bathroom and you pretend to talk to them because the camera's not on you, and then they turn the camera on you to expose the fact that you're literally talking to an empty chair. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, I appreciate it if that happened. <laughs> Anyways, continue. Um, yeah, a lot of people end up talking by themselves a lot. They, yeah, so that's that's just sort of an example of how it can be difficult to be in those situations for the first time or even the tenth time. It's still uh -huh, like weird. Uh -huh. How do you fill the space? What do I talk about? Mm -hmm, Should I mm -hmm. be talking? All these things. That took a while to figure out. Yeah, yeah. A while. And it's not stuff that you figure out right away. So it, it's important for everybody who wants to commentate to understand right. that stuff, I think, and to sort of game plan for it in advance. Right. To right. think ahead a little bit about what could possibly happen. Maybe you do end up by yourself <laughs> on stream. Maybe something bizarre happens the in the game. The video goes out. 
Maybe the video goes out and you got to kill time. And you yeah. have to do radio play by play. Maybe you have to hop <laughs> over the table itself and jump over to the uh, actual player's desk and commentate like that. I mean, you yep. have to you have to sort of think about what you would do in situations. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I think that a lot of people don't see that when they first start. Yeah. But they find out very shortly, you know, very quickly. Right. right. The, the, the hard part is that I actually agree with a lot of the people out there who think that they, be, they can be amazing commentary when something hype happens and for good matches. That's like 20% of your job mm. as a commentator. 80% of the job is not hype moments. That's true. And filling space. So it's not how well can you do commentary during the hype moments. Yeah. It's how well can you do commentary during pools, during downtime. That's a big part of During it. between matches while yeah. you just have to sit there. It really is. I mean, we've gotten good at rambling. <laughs> so, you we know. have an entire two-hour show dedicated <laughs> exclusively to that. Exactly. That's exactly where I was going. Yeah. But... Yeah, I mean... But honestly, the practice has helped. Yeah. The, the, uh-huh. Us practicing on this show has definitely helped with our ability to to talk about <laughs> stuff. To each other, lead each on other. Yeah. So at, at SCR, well, uh, we, were, we, were, we wanted to go live. Uh-huh. And the stream producer didn't want to go live yet because the players weren't ready. Shao Hai was playing Grand Finals with right. Radio F, and mm-hmm, so we had mm-hmm, to wait for mm-hmm. him. And you and I were like, come on, man. Like, let's... We'll just... We'll talk about stuff. We can do it. Like, right. Uh-huh. Put us in, coach. Like, like, we can literally talk for 20 minutes while Xiao Hai is playing the yes. entire grand finals. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. It's better than looking at a nothing screen. Right? Half the time when they finally start the match, we're still in the middle of like going through brackets and talking about stuff. And we're always like, okay, okay, we'll come back to the rest of the brackets later. Like, you can, we can talk forever. There's plenty of stuff to talk about, but, yeah. but you don't figure that out at first. Mm-hmm. It's something mm-hmm. that you, you get good at later. So, again, I, I, it's... It's very important to have commentators be able to get chances yes. at, at locals, or if you ha- if you think that you're good and you want to send in the highlight reel to Evo, which they always ask for, Yeah, uh-huh, you, can, uh-huh. you can do that as well. I mean, it's not like there are no opportunities, uh, but it, it is it is really important that it's not just like you and me and like three other people traveling around to everything. <laughs> it's important to have right. local commentators and people who can get some practice and get some feedback and right. all that sort of stuff. And not only that, too, but it's important to have the different styles as well. Like, you and I, we have a very specific goal. We have a very specific style. We try to be as professional as possible and stuff like that. But then you have all these other, like, for example, the IFC Yipes, right? Yipes, super hype commentator, super fun guy to listen to. Yeah. Persia's trying to do a lot of the informative stuff yeah. on Marvel. Let's talk about Z, right? I mean, Z is... Probably, I would say, in my opinion, the funniest commentator there is okay. out there. Even if some of the, the jokes like <laughs> make me go, no, no, don't say that. But you know, I, yeah. I laugh out loud the most when okay. I when I watch Z for sure. So you know, I like the different styles. Of you know course, what I mean? I like the way that is. Yeah. And so we need to get more commentators. We need to groom more people and. So one of the main questions that came up in this conversation is how do we give useful feedback to the commentators? So a lot of people were, have been broken by the, by the vitriol from stream chat and from you know, our Kappa threads and stuff like that and everything like that. I've almost quit commentary a few times, right? But the thing about it is um, I've taken a lot of the hate and I will try to extract the truth out of it. Yep. I will try to ex- extract to the do. truth out of it. As painful <laughs> as it is. Yeah. You know, I will extract a lot of the truth out of that. And when they say something, they they usually have a, at least a decent point hidden in a, I I hate him. He sucks. Kind of. I think you're right. Shield. So there's a lot of things that I have stopped doing in commentary because of some of the hate. Yeah. And it's made me a better commentator, I think. I feel. I think you're right, I too. I, so. I, really, I really agree. That certainly happened to me, too. Right. I remember an example is that in maybe like 2012, I decided that I hated Marvel 3. Remember mm-hmm. this? Mm-hmm. But I was yeah, still yeah. commentating it. And people, I remember on streams and feedback and whatever, people would say, he doesn't know the game. It's like very obvious. Why is he commentating? <laughs> And for a while, I was like, oh, the haters, you know. <laughs> but then I thought about it, and I was like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't know anything about this game. Right, so right. I actually got back into it mm-hmm, in, like, mm-hmm, 2013 mm-hmm. or something. I forget the years now. Right. It feels like forever ago. 
Uh, <laughs> I got back into it and I relearned it, and I really felt an improvement in my Marvel commentary. Yeah, I yeah. really felt, uh-huh, uh-huh. and I don't even know if other people did, but I really felt it. And uh, the reason that I came to that was by seeing people being jerks about it, right? And like, uh-huh, and, f- uh-huh. and few people would say something in a in a sort of nice and constructive manner. It was rare, if ever, to see somebody say. You know, here's some strong points that I think mm-hmm. he has. Mm-hmm. He needs to learn the game better. Here's another problem that he has. Here's sort of my reason right, for it. Right, right. That's very rare. So you have to, you have, to, you do have to navigate the negatives. You you do have to to navigate the stuff that's phrased meanly. Mm-hmm. I mean, you have you have to parse that stuff and try to find the little nuggets of truth in there, and at the same time, ignore the things that are not. Truthful, because there, as much helpful criticism as there is in jerkiness, uh-huh. it's also just jerkiness. There's just people right. who are like being jerks about it, and you sort of have to figure out which one. Is yeah, because I, I like I said, I mean, I, I have like this is not going to make any sense, but I have this conversation about like like Super Mario Maker, right? Okay. The thing that's making Super Mario Maker bad right now is laziness. Mm-hmm. Is that people are lazy, so they just build hard stages or they build auto play stages. And people are lazy, so they can only beat the auto stages, so those are the only ones that right. rate. Well, same thing comes when it comes to trying to be noticed in the stream chat and trying to be funny. The laziest route is to make insults or just repeat what somebody else said, right? Mm-hmm. Which is usually an insult. <laughs> yeah. And so sometimes you just have to realize it is what it is and not get affected by it. And like I said, this is something I've had to deal with a lot because yeah. I am a sensitive person and I'm very harsh on myself. So I've had to navigate this a lot, you know, and, and, and such. So, But what would you tell aspiring commentators? Like, how, how can you, like, if they are getting really hurt by some of these comments, how would you help them? How, what would you tell them? Like, stick it out, guy, you know? Like, <laughs> like, what would you tell them? Yeah, I think that's basically the advice is is to, if, if it matters to you, mm-hmm. if being a good commentator matters to you, then you do have to just stick it out and put up with it. It's something that happens in any public role, mm-hmm. regardless of what it is. Not just fighting game commentary, not just video game commentary, right. but sports announcers and mm-hmm. being a well-known player and being a celebrity, even if you don't want to be, even if you're like some hesitant actor who like doesn't want to be in the public light, like you're still gonna get it. If you're like a Kurt Cobain or something, <laughs> well, I just it, he didn't want to he didn't want to be as famous as he got. Yeah, it's, that well, way, it's so. the case with a lot of people. Right. Uh, but you know, you still get negative attention. So I feel like there's just a level where you have to be, you have to manage it, you have mm-hmm. to figure it out. I'm not the best one to ask about this. I think I think this is much more your realm because uh-huh. I I'm way too overconfident. <laughs> 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 Every time I hear about your stories of how you and your brothers treated each other, I totally get that. Really? Does that make sense? <laughs> Dude, well, because the thing is, the, the environment that you grew up in, I think you have to be... <laughs> really? I never thought about you that. You have to That's be funny. a little bit more steely. So when we, when we went to SCR, uh-huh. um, the bathroom is one of these bathrooms <laughs> that has the light on the outside yes. of the bathroom. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I immediately said, oh, these bathrooms, I hate these bathrooms. These were the bane of my traveling existence uh-huh. when I was a kid because my brothers and I would always turn the lights off <laughs> for whenever anybody else was in that bathroom. <laughs> they're trying to take a shower, they're trying to take a dump, whatever it is, you turn it off. Or maybe you flick it on and off. <laughs> you know? And when, and when you walk out of the bathroom to go lie back down in bed, maybe somebody has wiped their butt on that pillow. <laughs> That was like a legit possibility. <laughs> you didn't know, all right? So you just—it was just a. <laughs> this is why, like I said, I never I thought th- about. It, I feel like that's why you can. Yeah, situation. I feel like that's why you have that ability a lot more than I do. <laughs> that's funny. I never really thought about it like that. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, no, it, it's true because like, that's just the. So you actually kind of... <laughs> I mean, look, we're, 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 we like each other. That's just, we're... Dude, you guys get along well, Yeah, we get too. along yeah. really well, yeah. yeah. You hurt the ones you love, right? <laughs> I mean, that's the way it comes yeah. down, so... <laughs> but, um... Okay, 
So oh, one yeah, of the, the things, the, one of the, the one time I was, <laughs> I, I opened up my DS because we always used to play Mario Kart DS, and I found, <laughs> I found a wrapped up piece of dirty toilet paper <laughs> on, on the screen. <laughs> Oh man, it was. Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, I so guess that probably does build confidence. We <laughs> about that before, the right? one, the <laughs> one thing that you hinted on, that, <laughs> that, that I that I really kind of want to do to uh, to to address. Also, if you really want to get into commentary, so one of the advantages that we had getting into commentary is that I really felt like. We wanted to get into commentary. Yeah, that's true. We had a goal. We were like, you know what? We want to do this. We want to teach people. We want to try to be more professional. Yeah. We want to welcome newcomers and stuff like that. We kind of had this thought process like, this is what we want to do. A lot of people who jump on commentary just want to do it because they just want to be on the stream and to talk and make funny jokes and stuff like that. If you are going to sit down and... Um, if you are going to try to be a commentator, you really have to want to be a commentator. And you do have to realize it is going to take away a lot from your playing. And you are going to yeah. have to... I mean, dude, people don't even think that we've played. Right. That's where it's at now. People don't even know where we used to be good at fighting games. Time was. I mean, you know, neither of us was ever like some just a one Right, player, right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we, were never, we were never we were top reasonable. players. But we were gatekeepers. Yeah. <laughs> we were the gatekeepers. I won tournaments, all right. Yeah, but, so did I. I okay. won tournaments, but, but I'm just saying, like, we were at that point where we were always a threat. But then Vi would always win. Oh, you yeah, know, usually. You know, yeah. Uh, uh, that's not true. I've beat him a bunch of times. Then. <laughs> but anyway, that didn't last very long. Right. And, uh -huh. and, uh, that, and, and I know that that time has passed. So the fact that I know that that time has passed and that I... I I, as a result, I've sort of put myself more into commentary, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but it's always been important, I think, for both of us to help other people learn fighting yeah, games, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you were uh, writing facts yeah. fifteen years ago. You were writing the Zangief Bible on Shoryuken.com. Yeah, right? I mean, so. that's just it's stuff that we always like to talk about and like to do. And mm -hmm. I never thought about it before, but maybe you're right that there is a sort of difference in what people mm -hmm. want to commentate for nowadays. Right. Maybe there is a, I, maybe that's a difference, and maybe. People are not willing to put up with the negativity for just to entertain people. I don't right. know. Yeah. I never really thought about that before. That that's my advice. If you go do commentary and you get the hate, if you want commentary, if you want to do it enough and you feel like you are a right person to do it, you 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 power through the hate. Yeah. That's just really what it comes down to. Because the reason why I wanted to do commentary is because. I was obsessed with system facts. I knew right. I had all this knowledge. I knew how all the game system worked. Right. Hated hearing people talk about things that weren't true, that were incorrect. Ironically, now, I even said this to Dasabro on Twitter today, one of the unique things about fighting game commentators is we're literally commentating over a whole entire weekend, like the entire mm. day. Dude, you get tired. Oh, well, you don't yeah. get much sleep. And sometimes there's an unexciting match on screen. Dude, there is a 99.99% ch chance that you are going to say something incorrect yeah. or, or say something that will at least piss off somebody on the... Like, everyone on the stream will hear one thing that you say that will piss them off or be like, whatever, this guy doesn't know anything. Yeah. Like, it's impossible to avoid. Yeah. And so, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, rough. it's a rough thing to do, and so you have to want it. Basically, you have to really want to not for for a genuine reason, for a good reason, and that's why I do it because I want to teach people, right? I want to educate people, even though I might get a bunch of things wrong these days. I've gotten a lot better about saying stuff and being like, I think. Yeah, that's true. Or yeah. I, I'm not sure about because I used to just be like, you, you always talked about like it, it, that that factor where you're just like, this is the the situation, and you're like so confident. But yeah, like I can't do that anymore. I can't do that anymore because I, I made too many mistakes. And yeah, a lot of people criticize me for being wrong all the time. That's one of the things I changed. Now I'm a lot more hesitant to make, you know, like. Well, I thought I would, so one thing that I like that you do is that if you don't know, you'll ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, uh, you don't need to know everything. Right, right. That's something that I figured out as well because mm -hmm. I used to think that I didn't need to know everything. It's good to know a lot. I mean, yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. you have to know a lot. 
but you don't need, nobody knows everything. <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah, there's it's just impossible. too many little individual situations in, in different games and even within one game to know mm -hmm. everything about it. Maybe you can know a lot, but everything is a stretch. So right. that's something that you have to deal with and know how to combat. My way of doing it typically is if I'm not like 99% sure, I just won't talk about it. <laughs> right, yeah. But I, I like that you ask. Like, did, what was is it, it because this, yeah, this? I think that's uh, good. Was that interesting? Was that a true block string? You I know? think that is good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But again, if you're an aspiring commentator and you want, and it's something that you really want to do because you feel like it's a talent of yours, I mean, it could be for, I, I'm not saying that you have to be altruistic and be like, I want to commentate to help the people. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Like, if you want to do it because you think you're good at it, like, if it's a big ego trip, but you think you're good at it, by all means, go for it. But it just has to be something that you want to dedicate yourself to do, you know? It's like you were saying, like, Viscant would be a great commentator, but he's not done playing yet. So he, he's smart enough to realize that he can't focus on commentary if he wants to keep playing. Yes. You know what I mean? So he's still playing, so he's not going to do commentary. Right. Well, I mean, he does it sometimes, but not as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not, not his focus, right? Yeah. But if you are a person who are, you're thinking to yourself, I really want to commentate, this is what I want to do, then you have to realize that maybe you have to sacrifice some other areas. Yeah, I, you know, we talked a little bit earlier about how a lot of good players are good commentators or could be good commentators, mm -hmm. but they don't practice it. Mm -hmm. You know, look, K. Brad, the first couple times he commentated, I didn't think he was very good. Mm -hmm. But he's been doing it quite a lot lately. I think he's gotten <laughs> a lot better at it. Yeah. I really think he's improved at it. He's funny. He's, he has info. Dude, um, I think you tweeted at him or tweeted at someone that you love the the audience interaction stuff he that does he that does that so well like he plays rock paper scissors yeah with the with the stream chat yeah and that sounds silly but it's it is a really good way to interact i think that's awesome yeah so engage and people he, and he stuff, came yeah. up with that yeah i never thought about that so yeah. i think that you know that's that's really good it's not just him there are other people as well but there are people who i think limit themselves from being good commentators to be players I'm, I can't say I would make a different decision if I felt like I could still play. Oh, yeah, you know? absolutely. But um, but that's what it is. You, know? mm -hmm. you, you sort of have to pick one or the other mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and or not be great at either. Right, right. Exactly. So Yeah, exactly. I was just thinking that as well. Justin is a great commentator. Justin is good. Because he knows the mindset so well. and He's so good at explaining why you would do something or, or why he would make a decision at that point. I think he's gotten better at that. Yeah. Um, he was not great at that at when he before. first yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but he has definitely improved. Yeah. Sure. But he's too busy playing right. Yeah, now. of course. Yeah. yeah he's yeah, always yeah. He's, uh, he's always doing well. Yeah, exactly. Right. So. But in any case, yeah, so any final thoughts on the commentary stuff? No. 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 What do you want to say about it? No. You're, you, you really were talking about commentary and all this stuff, and you have no words. I don't know what to say. You have no no comments on. I'm not sure thing. what to say now. Really, really. Mind if I go to the bathroom? Leave you sitting here. You can just. Talk. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We can do that. Yeah. <laughs> just go. You know what? You know. Here's the, here's the thing. Get up and go to the bathroom, and I'll do what everybody does on stream when you do that. Just get up. You know, go to stream. That's what everybody does when they're by themselves on screen. All right, I'm back here. All right, so let's let's commentate like how other people do. All right, we're uh, we're over here at Southern California Regionals, commentating. Yep. Look, here's here's something that I that I don't like, that very few people, or that a lot of people do. Okay. They don't look at the camera. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, Why? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah yeah. Why not? Yeah. You know what the bugs me the most? is that Keats pointed out something that I do during commentary that he really dislikes. And I haven't been able to stop it. Yeah? Like, I don't like it either. Okay. I, I hate it too. Okay. But I still do it all the time. I'm not going to say what it is because as soon as I do it, everyone's going to notice that I do it. So I'm not going to say it. But he said it, and, I, and I, I'm like, you're right. I'm going to stop. And I, I just haven't been able. It's one of those verbal things. It's yeah. like the um. You right, know what I mean? Yeah. Some unknown reason. I'm not sure what... <laughs> For the se seminal reason. <laughs> <laughs> For seminal reason, yeah, exactly. So, but yeah. Anyways, okay. All right. I hope a lot of other people get good at commentary because there's 
a growing need for it, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there are many opportunities for it. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, well, I can't be at everything, neither can you. Right, right. And it sucks to turn tune into a stream where they don't have a commentator. Right. Like, look, look, let's put it this way. We were both kind of sad we didn't get to do a lot of commentary at SCR. Mm. But Vi is kind of in a tough position because he knows he can't get us as often as he used to be able to, right? It's a little bit harder, so he's grooming Steve and Rip to be his main commentators. Yeah. That's a smart thing to do. Of course. That's an absolutely Those smart thing to do. It's sad for us because we want to do more commentary, but, you know, it's a smart thing for him to do. Yeah. I'm not going to speak. Everybody city. should be, uh, yeah. I'm not going to be here and be like, stupid Alex, he should have put us on because we're better than that jerk Steve and that jerk you know, rip or whatever. I like, mean, I feel like I was commentating SCR anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there were true, two of true, me commentating true, SCR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that they're both really, really good. Yeah, yeah, there, course, there's no doubt course, about yeah, that. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. All right, well, I guess that's enough about that. Yeah, do you want to take another break, or shall we just jump into news? Well, let's take a break, just okay. for YouTube convenience. Okay, no problem. We'll be right back, guys. <laughs> 